Hi, welcome to another episode of Practical Organic Living. In today's episode, we're going to be harvesting young ginger. So we planted a couple of pieces of ginger in our raised bed, in our 4x4 raised bed a couple of months ago, or actually six months ago, half a year ago. And we're excited to see whether we're going to get a successful harvest or not this year. The reason why we're not so sure is because we live in a mild climate where it doesn't really get hot and doesn't really get cold, but it's also not hot and humid, which is what ginger likes. So today I'll be answering three common questions. The first question is, how do I know when ginger is ready to harvest? The second question is, what is young ginger? And the third question is, how do I even use young ginger? The way you know ginger is for sure ready to harvest is if the plant dies back when it becomes brown. That usually happens when the cold sets in, when you get your first trees. But since we live in such a mild climate and this year has been pretty warm, the ginger is still pretty green. And it's been about six or seven months. So the reason we're harvesting it now instead of waiting for it to die back completely is because we're after the young ginger roots. So I'm gonna start harvesting the ginger now. It's really easy to harvest. All you're gonna do um, Usually is you, you would like to cut some of the foliage off so it's easier to pull. But since it's actually easier for me to pull the ginger up like this, I'm gonna do just that. All right. So this is what a young ginger root is gonna look like. You can see that here's, the, here's some ginger and these are the ginger roots here. These are the young rhizomes. So basically what you get from planting ginger is something like this that uh, turns into something like that. All right, and now I'm gonna harvest the rest of the ginger and we'll see what our harvest looks like. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna rinse the roots off so you can see what it actually looks like. And after I rinse the roots off, I'm gonna put it onto a table and we can see what the final harvest looks like. So this is a young ginger here. Um, this is an old mature ginger that we used to plant the young ginger. And basically from each set of mature ginger, it propagates itself like a rhizome, a root, into these different um, rhizomes. So from one of these, you can get like, I don't know, like eight or 10 of these. There are a couple ways to actually use the ginger. As I said, we're planning to use most of these for young ginger recipes. So we're gonna show you at least one way that you can enjoy young ginger and preserve young ginger. And Sally's gonna show you that when we go inside. So now I have a bowl of really beautiful young ginger here. And there are multiple ways you can use this. Um, but today I'm going to show you guys how to make pickled ginger, which you can use it with like sashimi, sushi, um, even like Japanese dishes like yakisoba or okonomiyaki. So let's get started. So with young ginger root, the skin is very thin and the easiest way to remove them is just by scraping with, say, a spoon. You can see they kind of come off pretty easy. And I'm not applying that much force to this. So you'll notice the young ginger root has some pink tips and we're gonna save these tips because they will react with the vinegar and they will turn the pickled ginger into a nice pink hue. So I've now scraped off the skin from the young ginger root and to make the pickled ginger, you really only need three ingredients, which is water, vinegar, and sugar. The vinegar water ratio is about one to one and then for the sugar, um, you can really adjust to your taste. So the next step is actually to um, slice the ginger. Some people use mandolin. Uh, I'm just gonna use a peeler. The idea is to try to make slices that are really thin, that like where you can almost see through. So we finished slicing the young ginger into thin slices. 
And then now I have a small piece here. I'm, just, I'm actually going to just give it a try. Yeah. It's quite spicy. So that's why I'm soaking it in water. This will help get rid of the pungent taste to the young ginger. So after soaking the ginger in the water, I'm going to strain the ginger. So next we are going to bring a pot of water to boil and then we will boil the ginger for one to two minutes to remove the spiciness. So now we're going to strain the ginger again and then um, pat it to dry. So now I've strained the ginger. I'm going to try to squeeze out the water. I'm going to do it gently. I think that's about, I think that's good. So next let's prepare the water sugar mixture. So combine the sugar and water in a small bowl. So now let's turn on the heat and stir to dissolve the sugar. Okay, so the sugar water mixture is about ready. Okay, let's turn out the heat. Let's bring it over. And then next, well, let's combine the vinegar with the sugar water mixture. So, um, stir it a little bit. Okay. So I have a sterilized mason jar here that I'm going to use. So next I'm going to place the ginger into the jar. And then let's pour the liquid into the jar. So then let's cap this. And then we're all done. We just finished making the pickle ginger and we will let this rest for at least a day before consuming. So after a few days, then we can enjoy some homemade pickle ginger. And now all we need is a plate of sushi to go with this. So that's our episode on harvesting young ginger root and also making some pickled ginger at home. And we hope that you can give it a try and maybe you'll be surprised too. So we will see you next time. Bye!